Hi, my name is Olivia. Today I'll tell you about reactions. A chemical reaction occurs between two substances and after the reaction has happened, it can't be undone. An example of this is when you bake a cake. You have a reaction between all the ingredients. After you bake them, they can't be recovered. The other type of reaction is a physical reaction. This, unlike chemical reaction, can be changed. The physical reaction changes the state or appearance of something. Like an ice cube turns to water and it can't be returned back. This is what happens in the lab. The substance gets put in the acid. The reaction then starts. Bubbles. Then heat. Then steam. Then more heat. Then the substance may change shape depending on the heat that affects it. I made a cake. I mixed all the ingredients together and put them in tins. Then they cooked. Stage one. Stage two. Stage three. Bet you can't get any of the ingredients out of that now. <laughs> this is a chemical reaction in everyday life. We mix some acids together and put them over a flame to make green fire. Look, every so often there would be a flicker of red or orange. This is a Bunsen burner and a gas tap. This is a tripod. This is a pipette. This is a beaker. This is a test tube. This is a test tube holder. This is a boiling tube. It's like a test tube, but bigger. <laughs> Make sure your hair's tied back if you're a girl. And everyone has to put goggles on to protect their eyes. You may see some signs on acids or anything in the lab. You have to read them when you're doing a practical. Please note, 